Holding the dumbbell like a goblet, we're going to step our feet a little wider than hip width apart and we're going to turn our toes out to the sides slightly. The key to a perfect goblet squat is keeping the chest as vertical as possible. We do this by driving our knees out to the sides so that they track in the same direction as our feet. We want to take a nice breath in on the way down and a breath out on the way up. We want to make sure that we're squeezing our glutes at the top of the motion. From the side, it looks like this. Holding the dumbbell in close to your chest, keeping your eyes looking straight ahead, and again, keeping that torso as vertical as possible throughout the entire movement. Notice that the knees are tracking in the same direction as the toes. This means you have to use your glutes to externally rotate from the hip, feeling tension that your knees are driving outwards. Imagine someone has their hands on the outsides of your knees and is pulling your knees in, and you have to resist that motion, pushing out into their hands. Let's take a look at what we want to avoid. The most important thing to avoid is rounding in the back by dropping the chest. Here you can see it's affecting the depth of my squat and I'm losing that vertical line that we really like to see in a goblet squat. Back to what it should look like is that nice vertical torso from the top of the squat all the way to the bottom and back up. 